it's the first of the year and the first video I do pretty much every year is my wish list. So that is what we are going to do this time. I have quite a number of items that are rolling over from some of them from the past many years, but at least a bunch from last year. So I'll just kind of list those out and then showcase some pictures of items if I have an exact item in mind. A lot of times it's just like a category of something I want to fill, but these are definitely gaps in my wardrobe or items I'm just really interested in right now. So let's get started. I will go through them as quickly as I can. First up, white pants and white trousers, I should say. I have some linen white pants and I want something a little bit more formal. I wouldn't even mind like a more formal cut of linen pant, but something that I could feel like I could wear to work when it's hot out and just feel like it's a little more sophisticated, a little bit more tailored. The other potential pants or bottoms are red skirt or pantsuit, pink skirt or pantsuit. I've had that in my wish list for quite a while. I have a red burgundy suit and just a plain red um, like patterned suit. So I would prefer more of a red pantsuit but a, like a really great fuchsia suit would be lovely. Um, and at least some like fuchsia pants, maybe fuchsia skirts, like something that's a little bit more colorful on the bottom. I have a lot of that on the top, but I would really love a coordinating set. One of the brands that I really, really love is Another Tomorrow. The problem is at least most of their suiting is wool and that's just really not something that works well with my skin. So. I don't know if that's going to happen, but something that's a little bit more polished and tailored. If I can find the right suit, I'll be really excited to add it. Are the Nala Pants by Mick. Um, that's a new pair that they've recently come out with that I think would be fun. It's got like an interesting pin tuck to it. It's a dressy, like tapered dressy pant. So I think that one would be good. And I think in blue, I've gotten rid of some of the blue pants in my wardrobe. And I have a lot of black, especially black Mick pants. So I think blue would be nice. And they may even work with my blue blazer and be a blue suit. I only have, um, I have a wide leg suit in blue right now. And then I have also the skirt. So it'd be nice to have another silhouette of pant. So I'm going to look at those in blue. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully those will look nice on me. We'll see. I'm definitely going to get those. Those I'm not, I'm going to check those off my list at some point. And then the last for bottoms are some jeans. I want some white jeans. I want some more blue jeans and I'd like an actual pair of black jeans. So I have these, which are, I actually have two pairs of this kind of like acid washed kind of black. And while those are lovely, I would like some more like classic black jeans. So that is an addition. I have a lot of black pants. So I'm definitely prioritizing the white and maybe the blue, but I think black jeans would be a nice addition as well. Next are dresses. I did add a few dresses last year. I still just want a couple a couple more, but I don't have anything particular in mind. Okay, bags, alternative leathers I've been looking at. I'm always looking at adding some more interesting alternative leathers. I've been interested in a white bag and I'm pretty positive I want the white bag to be a top handle with a long crossbody strap, something that's a little bit more classic, a little bit more feminine. I don't know exactly what yet. And I've been looking at the Saint Laurent Lou. I like the the older version, the one with the monogram stitched in. I'll show you a picture. I've been thinking about it in gray. We'll see about that one. I, 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 I've actually been watching that one for long enough that I might just pull the trigger on some of those, but I really do like that bag. I think that my black Ferragamo bag that I recently got, the Ferragamo Amy, kind of takes the place for a casual bag, but that's why I'm looking for gray. I was originally looking at that in black, but I think gray would be nice. And then just like a general category of vintage Ferragamo has just been my jam lately. And I'm spending all this time nursing and like scrolling through my phone and I just keep finding really great vintage Ferragamo bags. I, I think I do want a classic top handle. So that would work in white, but I've also found it in red. And I've also found some like interesting versions of it, like a rubber version that I might just have to add. And like, there's like an interesting like PVC, like woven version. There's so many cool versions of that bag. And of course I have this one. This is not the classic top handle. This is a take on the classic top handle that was issued a few years later. And I love this bag. I think it's beautiful. It makes me not want the classic top handle in black because I think it's too similar to this, but I just keep being drawn to it. So I think another color just has to make its way into my collection. And I toyed for a little while about like this vintage one, getting a different size and a smaller color. So I'm still kind of playing around with that, but there are so many fabulous styles and I just, I'm interested in so many of them. 
even like a yellow Wanda, <laughs> which is not necessarily something I would do, but something that's like just interesting to me right now. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be adding more bags. I don't necessarily need more bags, but I guess because I'm not using my work bags, it just, I feel like more fun, casual bags are a nice, a nice way to go. So we'll see, we'll see about those, but they're on the, they're on the wish list. They may not materialize, but they're on the list. I'm also interested in adding some more patterned tops. I originally had patterned pants on my list last year and I, I've removed that because although I think patterned pants are fun, I think I'm actually less likely to wear those. Maybe a fun patterned suit, but tops, I just, I want more tops. I also in general, just as like a big category of something that I really wanna add is just more statement pieces. I feel like this, I feel like I've built up a really great basics wardrobe now. And I used to have a ton of statement pieces, but they were all like synthetic fibers and I didn't fit them anymore after I got pregnant. And so, so much of that wardrobe from five plus years ago is gone. And I replaced it with some really great classic, more sustainable basics. And now I just need a little bit more fun, a little more excitement, things to kind of base an outfit off of. And I don't get me wrong, I love the basics. They will be classics that will stick around in my collection forever, but just some more statements. So that can be something that's textured or tailored in an interesting way. It could be pattern, it can be whatever that's gonna be. But I really wanna add fun fashion back into my wardrobe this year. And then the Saint Laurent tributes. So the tribute sandals, I toyed with that last year. I am still excited and looking at them. So I think I wanna add those and I think I want them in black, but I would consider other colors. So we'll see what pops up. I'm definitely buying them secondhand and it needs to be a good deal. I'm hoping this winter something will come up. So we'll cross our fingers on that one. Those are mostly things that are rolling over from the past year. There's a few additions like the Ferragamo vintage bags and that sort of thing but a few other like more specific items I'm interested in. And also from Mick, they came out with a new cut of the Emily blazer. So here is the Emily blazer in red and here it is in black. And I'm thinking the charcoal because I recently got a charcoal skirt. So it'd be nice to make that a suit. I want to try out the new cut of it. So yeah, I'm thinking charcoal is what I will add for that. So I'm expecting that that is going to be an addition. The last thing I have on my list is something that I've had I've never like written down on the wish list because it's always just been something I've searched for, but I've never like really searched that hard for. But for some reason right now I'm more drawn to it. So that is a vintage Chanel blazer. I honestly, I just don't want to cough up as much as they cost because I know I can find some other like really great secondhand blazers for so much less money. But, and I don't want to buy something just because it's a brand, but I do think it's like vintage Chanel I think is a, it's a vibe. I don't know. I don't know the way to say it, but it's, it just keeps calling my name. It has to be the right piece for me to drop the money on it. And I have to like find a good deal on it. But I do think that that is something that might be added this year. I have a few other items from small sustainable brands that I'm looking for that I'm looking for secondhand. So they're on the list, but like, I'm not really expecting to find them, but if I do, I would definitely get them. So um, some Mila Vert sweaters. I have one that I've gotten from them, but it's not necessarily the silhouette and style I like the most. So I know some of those. I'm looking at a pair of pants by Cotton, K-O-T-N, and another pair of jeans from Etika. So I've been considering those. Triarchy um, pair of pants that, that, that are high-waisted that I think are really beautiful. So that that may work for my denim. I have to decide if I find the right pair for those. And then, um, Paneros, the brand, there's like a lot of sustainable brands. I'm just excited to shop and like hope that I can find something I really love because I want to add them into my collection. But there is a sweater by Paneros that I do really like, the Sloan sweater. And I think that could be an, a nice addition. But I did also take sweaters. I removed that off my list because I feel like I have gotten a lot of really good ones lately. So yeah, that one's on like something I'm toying with. Okay, so that is it. <laughs> we will see what happens this year. I didn't do as much shopping last year, but I did add some really great pieces and got rid of some things, but I was also really pregnant for most of the year. So 
I know that this year is gonna be a lot more because I'm excited to get dressed again. And I also know that I'm gonna be sitting down and shopping <laughs> while contact napping quite a bit. So I'm sure that some more things will be added. I would love to hear what's on your wish list. I'd love to hear what you think about mine, anything that you would add, any suggestions you have for some of the items I'm looking for, etc. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video. Bye.